Welcome to A Lively Hope and a video entitled Intersection of August 21st, 2017 and April 8th, 2024 Total Solar Eclipses. Coincidence? Do you believe in coincidence? I no longer do. While praying the Lord's Prayer years ago, I was struck by the third petition, Thy will be done. And I immediately recognized that it's not the will of the individual, but God's will that is sovereign. And I came to believe that coincidence doesn't exist, but that all is ordained by God. I challenge you to set aside doubt and view events through this lens. It's truly comforting to give oneself over to God's providence. Now, let's investigate an event that might otherwise be considered a coincidence. Those looking to the skies are aware of a total solar eclipse and a shadow that traversed the United States southeast from Oregon to South Carolina on August 21st, 2017. Just under seven years later, on April 8th, 2024, North America will experience another total solar eclipse and a shadow that will traverse northeast from Mexico to New Brunswick and over the large island of Newfoundland. Interestingly, the two paths intersect in the Midwest of the United States. In Illinois, in the little town of Macanda, population 540, once referred to as the Star of Egypt, the central lines of totality will cross at 37 degrees, 38 minutes, 42.56 seconds north, and 89 degrees, 16 minutes, 31.66 seconds west. For the curious, please follow my description and you can generate an interactive map to see the point of intersection for yourself. Xavier Jubier, an IT manager whose avocation is eclipse prediction, has established a wonderful website with an array of eclipse resources. Utilizing information from NASA, and in particular, their eclipse expert, Fred Espinak, Jubier's site allows you to plot the 2017 and 2024 total solar eclipses on one interactive map, which you can zoom to a great extent. Point your browser to the following URL. On Xavier's home page, select the link for a five millennium canon. Ensure that pop-ups are allowed as the website will populate a new page. You should now find yourself at the following URL. In the boxes from and to, enter the years 2017 and 2024 respectively and select total in the pull down menu for eclipse type. Now search the database. Off to the left, you'll see the results of the search with five eclipses matching the criteria. Now select both August 21st, 2017 and April 8th, 2024. Check grouped eclipses and select high in the pull down menu for level of details. Build the interactive Google map. You will now be prompted to confirm you want both eclipses plotted on the same map. Select OK. After a few seconds, a third window will populate with a Google interactive map based upon the criteria you supplied. If all went well, you should find yourself at the following URL. You can now zoom in on the point of intersection to see its exact location as currently predicted. And I say currently predicted because Xavier Jubier kindly emailed me 
that the intersection may move by up to 500 meters by the time of the actual 2024 event due to the delta T value related to Earth's rotational velocity. Note though the scale in the lower right to see that any deviation will be modest in terms of distance from the current intersection. Now pan slightly to the east to see that the intersection of the central lines of totality lies very near Salem Road in Macanda, Illinois. Some of you may already know that the path of totality of the 2017 eclipse on its way across the United States crossed over seven places with Salem in their name. The prior graphic is courtesy of Chris C at a blog by the name of Christify.com at the following URL. I highly recommend you head to Chris's blog and read his entry for August 13th, 2017 entitled The Seven Salems of the Eclipse. Coincidence? And no, no coincidence, Chris C. Clearly God's handiwork. Some may know that Salem is derivative of Jerusalem, one of the more important, if not the most important, locales in the Bible. In Psalm 76, verse 2, KJV, we read that Salem is used interchangeably for Jerusalem, as shown on this next slide. Verse 2, In Salem also is his tabernacle, and his dwelling place in Zion. Jerusalem, of course, is the site of Jesus Christ's crucifixion and his resurrection, two events that alone define God's love for us, Jesus' ultimate sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin, and the promise of life eternal. Jerusalem is a place to always be remembered. As stated in Psalm 137, Verses 5 through 6, KJV. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. So what does it all mean? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't believe it's a coincidence that the intersection lies near Salem Road, any more than I believe the Revelation 12, 1, 2, sign on September 23rd, 2017, was a coincidence, or that the path of Comet C 2017 E1 Borisov from Leo to Virgo was a coincidence. I believe God is calling us to be vigilant, to be repentant, to acknowledge his sovereignty and to prepare for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are we in the end times? I don't know, but I believe with my heart and mind that if we aren't, surely we are close. Thank you for watching.